I'm Ruben with Texas Water Fishing and I just got off the boat with Captain Cody and I want to do a little pop-up interview with Captain oh Cody. God. Captain Cody, he has an outdoor, he has a nonprofit, Captain Cody Outdoor Adventures. Yep. Cody Dunn Outdoor Adventures. Cody Dunn Outdoor Adventures. Yes, sir. Um, all his information is below, but I, this is impromptu. Yeah. Question, right? Right. So, 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 yeah. so we have, we have the flounder season is, uh, is here. Right. Yes, yeah. But we haven't seen the run yet. It's no. already last week. Yeah. We have um, a cold front. Right. We have the last week. We have a cold front that's getting ready to come up. Yes. The water level is like very, very it's high. Three foot high today. Three foot high. Yeah. And it's harvest moon. Even though we're going to have a cold front, I hate to make the prediction, but I think we're going to have a little bit of a run. But it's not going to dump the bay. I mean, it's going to lower the top water temperature, and that starts the run. But. I just it's not gonna dump the bay the bait fish are gonna be there the flounder don't have no reason to leave I don't know we, we guess at this every year it's hard but I, I think I think it's gonna be a late run this year I think we're gonna catch flounder all the way up into January this year awesome that'll be fun yeah that'll Sorry, be really awesome some wildlife, but yeah uh, <laughs> I think we're gonna bypass we're gonna, the closure we're gonna get some late I think December we're <laughs> We haven't in the last two years. Right. Well, today we just got off the water and we yeah. fished a little bit of West Bay and we didn't yeah. catch one single flounder. No. And then you no. fished the north side of West Bay a few days ago. Uh, yeah, yeah, last Friday. And you didn't catch a flounder catch either. A flounder. We fished for flounder. Yeah. We ended up with some specks and some reds and, and stuff but and some trout, you know, but we didn't get no flounder either. Yeah. So I, they must be up there super shallow. I, well, I bought a new boat. So this is for being able to get up in the shallows. I've really never done a whole lot of shallow water fishing. I'm really good offshore. I'm not bragging, but I win tournaments offshore, so I think I'm good. Uh, I do really well at the jetties and at the, the channel and all that stuff, but I've not fished that a whole lot. So I, I bought this boat. It's supposed to run in like five inches of water. And uh, so I'm going to start doing some bay stuff and trying to catch more specks and reds and flounder in the summertime. And I'd like to get good enough where I can catch flounder in the summertime and do summertime flounder trips, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. That's, that's kind of the one thing I want to be able to do. So. That's the plan. So, yeah, but yeah, man, I'm Cody Dunn Outdoor Adventures. I, you know, I've taken all these, you know, 3,500 people with disabilities. I've been saying that for a long time. 1,500 veterans. I've taught over 20,000 kids. I'm starting a ball high after school fishing program. It's going to start, well, we said last month, but it's maybe even probably in January, February, we're going to start the Ball High School after school fishing program, possibly Texas City High School fishing program. And I'm working with Hitchcock. I donated 27 rod and reel combos to them last year. And then we're going to have an end of the year fishing tournament. We're going to try to get a bunch of guys to donate their boats and have a all three schools against each other. First ever on the coast fishing tournament against high school. So That'd like be awesome. Yeah, so that's that's the dream. But yes, but I need some donations for doing that kind of stuff. Absolutely. You know I mean? I've got I've got boats that I've got you know upkeep. I've got the boat slip over at the yacht basin. I've got gas. And I mean today we got to go get the the, uh, the the VST tank redone on this, and that's going to be several hundred dollars. And but I give all. The, uh, last year I gave away forty three or forty six trips to people that I just run into at convenience stores that were in wheelchairs, kids with cancer or veterans that are in wheelchairs. I just random, randomly give them a fully guided fishing trip. You know, I did 46 of them last year and uh, it's expensive. You know? It's so very expensive. I need, I need some backing. A lot of people give me rod and reel combos and Danco gives me pliers and everybody gives me, sh you know, shirts or whatever, but nobody gives me money, you know, so I'm kind of struggling with the money part of it right now, so I'm not trying to beg or anything, but I could use a little help for sure, so. so Captain Cody, all his information, all of Captain Cody's information is below in the description yeah. section, so if you want to donate today, you can donate to him, you can email him, you can message him on social media, on Facebook and Instagram, Facebook, and Instagram. Me and we can meet he has a contact phone number below as well in the description yeah. section, so look up Captain Cody, uh, donate to him today. So you think it's going to be a late flounder run? I'm hoping, but I'm hoping. I, I, I think, I mean, we say that a lot, you know, every, I mean, last year we thought it was going to be, well, and it all kind of dumped and all pushed them out in about a month and a month and a half, you know, yeah. I mean, December 15th, 16th hit last year. And it was, and it was, it was dead. Yeah. yeah. And the year before is the same way. I mean, the day yeah. before, December 14th, we caught 20 something. I mean, had some great ones. The 15th hit and we caught seven. The 16th hit, we caught like five and the 17th, 18th one or two and then it was over after that yeah that was so crazy it was, it was time to yeah. get right 
Yeah, morning, the time was right. Yeah. Yes or no. So, all Good right. So, with today is Thursday. We have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So we only have like a handful of days left. Yeah. Tuesday is the close. We have a front that's coming in Monday. Yeah. yeah. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday you should be dumping water out, or yeah. should dump the water out. But it's not. But with the water being high, it might just make the water level normal. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, but the water temp. I mean, we're supposed to get into and the, the temperatures you know, too, like, right? Yeah. It's supposed to get 25 mid -50s, degrees. Maybe yeah, mid 50s. Like that. So if that happens, there's got to be some start. You know, it's already kind of started. I, there's been I, some trickling. Like right. I got nine the other yeah. day. Got seven one day. I mean, but that's super low numbers for us. You're right. I mean, we right. I think. So. I think. I think it's gonna pick up after the run stops. Yeah. I mean, after the run closes, after yeah. the season closes. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think Wednesday, Thursday, it probably will pick up. I think this next, not this one coming up, that's going to get them started right. a bit, I think. That's going to get them positioned at like all the, the drains. Yeah. And to get some on the way, but I think the next cold front after that, without this harvest moon that we have, yeah. is going to be on. That's going to be on. Deer season. Deer season. It's going to be on fire and I'm going to be deer hunting. So. Yeah, I'm going to be catching. <laughs> Well, I'm going to be flounder hunting. I have left the deer camp before when it was pretty Yes, good. you did. Yeah, yeah. Nine-hour drive and went straight to fishing. Yeah. yeah, no sleep. Crazy, wacko. But, hey, um, Captain Cody, Outdoor Adventures. Cody Nunn Outdoor Adventures. I get every name wrong. Don't worry about yeah. it. But it's right here. It's somewhere it in the middle of that. Yeah. Yeah. Cody Dunn Outdoor Adventures. And I think it's .com or .org for my website, too, if you want to kind of see my numbers of what I do and all that stuff. And, there's a place where you can go in there and, and send a message to me. But Facebook, Instagram is just as easy as anything, you know, to get a hold of me too. So, so all this information is Thanks. below. We're going to be out there looking for some flounder. I hope you are too. Weapon of choice for me is a goat. Cody, I know Cody said he's going to try to get some on the spoon this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So keep an eye out for some of those videos coming. We're going to start hitting flounder hard. But thanks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share.